Hey guys, today I have the, a great topic. It's about the access controllers. So the access controllers is a great feature that we use it to filter the packets. It can be the whole packets or it can be the specific packets, just the TCP, UDP, SMP packets, something like that. And we have two type of the standard. Uh, I'm sorry, we have the two type of access list. We got standard and we got extended access list. So how can we specify that is standard and extend? We use the uh, the the rank of the ID. Uh, of the accesses right here. If you use the range from 1 to 99 and 1300 to 1999, it is a standard access list. The same here, we use the 100 to 199, it is the extend access list and, and this range also. So, what is the difference between two, uh, these two access lists? The standard access list uh, is the access list that we just need to uh, specify only the source address, source IP address. Extended access list is a access list that we need to uh, specify both source and destination IP address. All right, and specific uh, type of packets that we want to filter. All right, so I have uh, a lab to the more uh, extended access list. Okay, this is the lab here. Uh, right now, I'm going to explain my scenario. This is the laptop here. We have the static IP address. Uh, this is the same on X server and H server and assign the IP address on each server statically. Okay, so uh, uh, what I want to do is that I don't want this laptop can access to the X server here, but laptop uh, can access to H server here. Okay, but right now uh, by default uh, my laptop here now can access to both H server and H server. All right, I'm going to verify you right now. All right, I use the ping here. Okay, all right. So I'm uh, being ten zero twenty hundred is the X server. As you can see, that the ping works just fine. And if I ping to the H server, as you can see, that the ping also work fine. Okay, so on the router here, I'm going to config the access list. Okay, uh, go into the config mode access list. All right, we go to use the hundred because we want to use the extended access list. I'm going to say permit. All right, permit what? Permit IP. I mean, permit the whole packet. I'm sorry. The the first thing we have to deny. Uh, deny the whole packet. Deny IP. Uh. IP host, okay, because the, the the laptop is the host. We want only one. We only specify one host. So I'm gonna use the IP address on my laptop here. Ten zero ten hundred here. All right. So the destination host is the server. It's the host ten zero twenty hundred. All right. That is the first thing that we need to do. The second uh the second thing is access list hundred again. I'm going to permit. Permit what? Permit IP host 10 0 10 to host 10 0 20 200. Okay? So we want to specify this show access list. Alright, you can see that the first statement means that it, I'm going to deny. It means deny is I'm going to filter any packet from the host 10 0 10 Here is the laptop, my laptop, and to the server here, which is the host. 10, 0, 20, 100 here, which is the server. So I'm going to deny the packet from that source to the destination, so, uh, uh, which I, I assign on the access list. And the, the can policy is the uh, sequence 20 here. Okay, I permit, I mean, I permit any packets uh, from the host 10, 0, 10, 100 is my laptop to uh, the host 10, 0, 20, uh, 200 is the hack server IP address. All right, so right now uh, we already created the policy here. The candy that we need to do is that we're gonna assign uh, apply this access list to the interface. So I'm going to explain a little bit. When the packet go from the PC here to specific the to the specific server here, one or two something like that, the the traffic will go from the PC through the switch, go through the router. All right, just router and out uh, out of the interface, you can be just as one something like that. So the to so the access list we can apply uh, in either a uh, 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 bit zero one interface or bit zero one interface. But the traffic here when it go to the bit zero zero is go in, okay? It's go in. 
But about the Gigabit Zero Hub One interface, the traffic from the laptop here is go out. All right. So right now, I'm I'm going to use uh, uh, this interface uh, to uh, to apply the access list. So here we go. Interface Gigabit Zero Slash Zero here. I'm going to the IP access group here. Uh, the and then the access list number 100 and then I'm going to say in because the traffic go into that interface all right I'm going to say in and enter here all right so uh, uh, when I open my laptop again I'm going to ping to um, X server with the 2000 here as you can see that uh, uh, deny uh, I'm sorry destination host is unreachable what if I ping to the H server uh, 200 here as you can see that the ping works just fine it can reply and kind of see the TTL time value something like that so uh, uh, go to back to the router here if I uh, uh, specify so access list again as you can see that uh, this is my just mean that it already it it uh, it have hit the access list uh, on the interface and apply the policies and that. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for your